Hi, do you know that you can actually have some interaction with the mathematics equation by using the free Microsoft Word 2007 mathematics add-in? You can Google it and download me-setup.exe. Then you are ready for today. I'm going to show you how to solve quadratic equation by using the mathematics add-in in Microsoft Word 2007. Let's look at the document now. So start with, I'm going to enter the equation. So I click mathematics on top, then I click equation. For example, I can type x square minus 2x plus 3, say equal to 0. After I finish, I can go to click compute to solve for x. So you see the current system has no solution because the root could be complex. Let's try another one. Insert another equation. Equation. So x square plus 2x plus 3. x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0 and then compute and solve for x you say x equal to minus 1 2 times another one let's say I go into mathematics equation so I'm going to type x square minus 4x plus 3 equal to 0 and then I type click compute and solve for x. It says x equal to 1 equal to 3. Now this time I'm going to try to solve x square minus square plus 3 again. The same equation, but this time this time I'm going to click the complex mode. Complex mode. And then I enter the equation. x square minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. Now I compute for x. Notice that it gives me the complex root. If you are in the real mode, let's say mathematics, real mode, equation, I use the same equation, x squared minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. I'm going to solve it. Compute, solve for x. You notice that the current system has no solution, means the equation has no real solution. However, the solution could be complex. What a surprise will be, let me enter the equation in symbolic way. That means a x square plus bx plus c equal to 0. And now I want to solve it. Compute, solve. And then they ask you whether you solve for a, b, c, or x. Now I'm going to solve for x. So solve for x. We say that, oh, there will be a different situation. We say that when a not equal to 0 and b squared minus 4 is equal to equal to 0, then you get two different solution x there. If b squared minus 4 is less than 0, the solution set is empty. If a equal to 0 and b not equal to 0, then x is actually minus c over b. Otherwise, if a is 0, b is 0, c is 0, x is any real number. If a is 0, b is 0, and c not equal to 0, the set is empty. So this is quite a surprise. It gives you a very comprehensive solution. Thanks for watching the video.